Hey guys, um, it's going to be a little raw today. Just going to kind of get some stuff out. Um, something has to do with, well, the reason why I titled this, um, why are you so much garbage? I was in prayer and the Lord said, said that to me, Steve, why are you eating so much garbage? <clears throat> About two months ago, three months ago. And I'm like, man, I didn't think I was, really. Kind of, you know, but I mean, it's kind of, okay. I mean, I knew, you know, there's a lot of pollution out there, guys, okay? And mistruths and just misquoted stuff. But this is where I'm coming from with this, guys, okay? Because it's my prayer. Even this Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, I don't like any of this. Honestly, I just don't. I mean, a little bit, but mostly no, because of the time it takes, and it just, it, you can get sucked up into the surreal moments of it. Probably why my videos are a little lame, just me talking with these, you know, Dollar General or Dollar Tree reading glasses. Because they're cheap, buck, bear, because I lose a lot of them. Um, this is where I'm at, guys. This is one of my prayers one of many but some of the things the Lord's showing me it's like okay God but let me do it without an attitude and what I mean by that is it goes along with what I'm saying but because you have to be very careful because life and death is in the power of the tongue guys so I want to do what he I want to be obedient I want to do what he's telling me to do but I also don't want to hurt people out of it but at the same time if I'm a watchman, guys. If he tells me to cry, foul ball, look out, watch out. There's a storm coming, which I put on there. There is a storm coming in all of our lives, not just mine, but all of ours. Some of them are already hit. Some of them are in the midst of storms right now. Big storms coming, 8-11-2020 and to 9-11-2020 to this country. So if you're not in one, get prepared because you're going to be in one. But it's not necessarily to be destructive, it's to clear the path. But this is where I'm coming from with this, guys, okay? This was just a, you know, I call them landmarks. It was a lesson I learned a couple years ago. It was in the natural, but yet it correlated into the spiritual when the Lord finally showed me what was going on. Normal. Fertilize my lawn. The hedges don't look that great. I'm not really a landscape guy, kind of, you know, but that our lawn looked really good. It took me a couple of years after we moved in to just get everything back up, and we had really nice grass. Probably the greenest on the block. Well, I used, you know, maybe this is a plug for them, but I used Scott's Turf Builder. I just liked it, and you know, I was had good luck with it. It worked good. A little expensive, but, you know, I, I got good results. The weed and feed, um, you know, and it was springtime, about to rain. It was early, early spring. And so, you know, I always know that you're supposed to do it right before it rains. So, you know, long story short, I go to a local box store where I once worked for 20 years back in 1999. Well, 21 now, so. Um, this was a few years back. So, <clears throat> buy the fertilizer, load it up. Well, I see the department manager. She's been over it for when I was back in 99, she still was over it, you know, still in that area, still over it. Just, so she's like, oh, it's a little too soon to do it now, but if you're going to do it now, there's a better fertilizer. So I'm like, okay, well, it wasn't, I was listening to garbage. I was thinking that she was an authority. Because I was like, man, you've been doing it 20 years. I mean, I didn't think all that, but I mean, it was just, you know, in the back of my mind. So I was like, okay. So she gives me one. Well, two things happen out of it. One is she didn't tell me or ask me if I had Bermuda or St. Augustine. And two, I didn't read the directions on the bag. Assumed. <clears throat> so it was for Bermuda and I have St. Augustine. Man, my yard was brown as it you know what, just brown. Killed everything, literally. 
Me and my wife's mad, I'm mad. A couple days. Go up there and tell them, you know, they're not gonna do nothing to bother. They're just gonna say, well, you were kind of stupid. You didn't read the directions. Well, rightfully so. <clears throat> so this is my point. The Lord will redirect you. So I was like, man, what do we do, God? After a couple days, finally, I'm kind of unmad a little bit. He said, how much more important are the things in the spirit that I'm giving you, whether it's word, prophecy, knowledge, um, just my platform is wherever the Lord sends me. I mean, mine happens to be 7-Eleven, wherever. I, I minister all over the place. God, wherever God, God is, wherever God sends me, because that's just who I am. I'm not, not promoting nothing. Not patting myself on the back. It's just that's what he told me. So, how much more important is what you say? Because souls are at stake. Lives are at stake. And you could destroy their lives. So what I'm saying, guys, is guard your words. Guard your heart. Guard your thoughts. Guard your actions. Guard your intents. I'm not all the way there yet, guys. I'm human, okay? Got a few flaws. Some not real, some kind of ugly, actually. Like, right now, one of the storms I'm in is an ugly storm that Steve created. God didn't do it. The enemy didn't do it. Yes, he used. Yes, he did. It's kind of all intertwined, but Steve's kind of in the mix of it. So, okay, God. But I'm going through about six of them, it seems like, all at once. Okay, God. But how much more important is it what we say? So the point is this, back to the garbage thing. What are we eating, guys? What table are we sitting at? Whose table are we sitting at? The Lord's, the wedding supper of the Lamb, the marriage supper of the feast, listening to God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. We're listening to some man or woman or even me. Okay, it gets twisted real quick, guys. And you can just start, you know, man, why does America, why is America so obese? Because of the food and stuff, the garbage that we eat. Cheap knockoff stuff mostly this gmo and all that you know there's a lot of trash out there guys not natural but just even i shut my news off okay because it was 125 bucks a month and i was like man i don't even watch it hardly and when i do watch it it just seems like a lot of pollution maybe not for you okay so but for me it was getting that way trying to do the adult thing and oh yeah i'm just kind of discerning well you know, I got sucked into a lot of it, honestly. Like, I just... And then I needed to buy a tablet. And, and I was like, well, this is how we'll pay for it. We'll cancel TV and we'll pay for it. You know, so it was like... Tablet was 85 bucks a month. The TV was 125 It was kind of a no-brainer, okay? So now I just look at the internet. But even this morning... Well, Mike Pence was on there. Really good. He said you need to spend more time on your knees than on the internet. And so I'm on there seemingly a lot on him, Facebook because the Lord told me to. I don't even want to do it, guys. I'm like, pick somebody else. That, you know, no, God. Here I am. Kind of the obedience, guys. But the opposite worldly course, but some guy racing a Corvette. I don't didn't even read the city. Just the caption. The captions will suck you in. I mean, it's like boom, 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 boom. Arrested for for speeding, but said GM employee. You know what does GM? What is it where he works at? What does GM have to do with him being an idiot racing his car down the street? Nothing really. Probably. I didn't read the article, but it's like, man, so it gets really twisted. But that's why when I was in prayer, the Lord told me this set about four months ago. I was sitting there watching all this political garbage and hogwash. At the same time, one of my messages is time is holy, even in politics. But there's also the politics of the garbage and the hogwash. And I'm 
I'm this and that, I'm Democrat, I'm Republican, and I'm not even a decent person anymore because I'm so sorry, hell bent on a party or an you know, ideology. Make sure it's God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. But I still say, you know, my, my point is still the same in this one too. Pray for these people, pray for your leaders. Yes, vote. But pray for the people you're voting for. I would rather have godly men and women in there, whether they're president to, a, to the local judge, full of the Holy Ghost, or full of the direction from God, or who God wants in there. Maybe they're on a journey. Maybe they're not all the way there yet. And most of us aren't either. But, so... You know, there's just a lot of garbage out there, guys, and it can get twisted up. So I was watching this mess back to, got sidetracked a little bit. Um, you'll have to bear with me. If I seem a little off sometimes, it's because I am. Doctor report were moderate to severe brain loss. Some from some strokes, brain strokes. Not good. Wiped out parts of my brain. So I was like, man, I want know always the smartest box and the cr crayon in the box. But I still had some sense. Still do have sense, but it's like, man, it's just so there's there's disconnect. But I'm in prayer about well, four months ago, watching some political trash. Not wanting to, but it just kind of popped up, you know. It's and I said, Lord, what's really going on? Noticed it's one of my messages on there, how the enemy's coming against us in the natural. Cars breaking down, divorces, jobs, um, economies. Uh, just politics, just a lot of garbage. And the Lord said, that's because the enemy can't win in the spiritual realm, and he knows it. And he took me to, when Jesus went ahead to go off and pray when he's in the wilderness, and right away after he was tempted, turn these stones into bread, food. Climb, take them up to the pinnacle. Chunk yourself down, throw yourself off of this, and the, and the angels will catch you. Fear of his life, you know, the natural. Um, then, oh, you can have all this. The enemy, the devil showed him everything in the world, riches, fame, glory, whatever. <clears throat> Stuff. Natural. I'm asking the Lord, why? why? And that's what he told me, because the enemy can't win the spiritual. And then, I said, and then he said, go to Isaiah 27, 1. That's why I put it on a lot of the posts that I put out there. For the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a sword and cut the head off that serpent, that twisted Leviathan serpent spirit. He said it's twisted. So look at it, guys. Man, it's all it's pretty twisted. I'm saying don't listen to what what are you what are you feeding yourself? What kind of garbage are you eating? Maybe I'm not advocating divorce at all separation at all but if you're but if you're in the wrong place or eating at the wrong table or with the wrong person you know the Bible says what God has joined together let no man put us under well sometimes we put it you know it gets pretty pretty yeah, I get it it can get a little even complicated or whatever but Sometimes, you know, my dad taught me this when I was a kid that, you know, he wasn't a real good mechanic. He was a great cheap metal worker um, and a smart guy and, you know, hard worker and just, just generally all around a good guy. <clears throat> but he couldn't, you know, he was okay mechanic, but man, our garage had tons of holes in the wall from pliers and wrenches and stuff that he chunked at it. Not tons, but enough. Because he get frustrated. And then he told me, he said, but when he gets really frustrated, he just has to step back. Stop what he's doing. Kind of reevaluate. So, you know, if God's got you in kind of a holding pattern or separated from people or from places, things, you know, maybe you're eating garbage. And don't even know it. Pig food, slop.
this is a warning part, I guess, of me. If people are running from the Bible and what you're saying and quoting in scriptures and things, they're not rejecting you, they're rejecting Jesus. So don't take it personal, but at the same time, it's like, what if you, you know, but at the same time, pray about it. At the same time, don't cast your pearls before swine. So there's just some things to it, guys. It's like, okay, even this, you know, and you wonder why sometimes, okay, I'm going to end with this, okay, you wonder why I, one of my posts today was a bear sitting on a couch and somebody left out in a trash pile well it's funny kind of you know a couple people you know so it's like what does that have to do with jesus god and the holy ghost and his word nothing but it's funny and he's sitting there with his leg crossed you know i like dogs i like so i put my dog stuff on her because i got a favorite dog now that i love her name is precious check out that story precious come home that's a good one too on youtube but Then there's another guy, I don't think he's gonna mind, it's called Gabriel's Fire. Um, I'm probably not gonna say his name, but I might, but if he tells me it's okay, but. <clears throat> Bible says try the spirit to see if it's the spirit of the Lord, and I knew some of the stuff he puts out there is, is pretty, pretty, you know. Man, some of it's kind of in your face, almost. But I still repost a lot of it. Not all that, most of it. He put something out today. If you look at him, it's like, man, you know, in the world view, he probably doesn't even look like a, a, a preacher. And I don't even know if he wants to claim claim to claim to famous as he, he's a preacher. I just know he's following, being obedient to the Lord, because that's why I try the spirit to see if it's the spirit of the Lord. And yes, it was. So I repost his stuff. <clears throat> today was, you know, he posted a couple times how he was had been sick and stuff, and. Man, it was kind of a little heart-wrenching because two years ago, I'm going to not model it up. Just look at the post. It's on my, on my feed. <clears throat> he was diagnosed with, with kidney cancer. And everybody left the room, the doctors and everybody. Man, he was pretty raw. He was like, man, I was in tears. Got a death sentence diagnosed by a doctor. It's like me and my brain's half gone and they're like, oh, what am I gonna do with it? And it's like, there's nothing you can do. I'm like, oh, bull. That's why a lot, of, that's partly a lot why I'm doing all this stuff on the computer and stuff because like, man, it's a muscle and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna press, exercise it a lot. That's what it takes. I'm gonna get it to grow back. I don't know, God. Paul Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, God is able. But, and that's what he said. He said, Jesus. He just was thankful to Jesus. He said it multiple times in capital letters. It wasn't that he put it on there in capital letters that he was shouting at it. You could tell that it was from the depths of his heart. So I need to do that because I'm encouraging people. That's why, I guess what was my point. So, I'm not trying to feed you guys a bunch of bunch of stuff, nonsense and garbage either. So, you know, yes, you may have to weed through a little bit of it, but I'm trying not to. But at the same time, one of the things he told me to do was connecting the body. That the body was really, really sick. The body of Christ was really sick. And unfortunately, guys, a lot of the churches and sometimes, and I'm not, not it's not going to, because we all can get there, can get too large for your britches and you kind of, God gets left, cast aside, honestly. <clears throat> not necessarily, there's some good ones out there too, I'm not, you know, so I'm not throwing everybody on the bus, but, <clears throat> so we have to be really, really cautious and careful. And always stay in tune to him and what his will is. And not get so caught up in the, that's what Mike Pence was saying, that caught up in the busyness of the life or the internet or, you know, it needs to be in prayer or in the busyness of supposed church life or in the busyness of our career life or in the busyness of whatever school or, 
or or marriage or this problem or that problem or you know it can become something it was never intended to be it can get pretty out of whack pretty quick pretty twisted hard to do guys i'm not saying that i have all the answers i'm saying go to god go to jesus go to the holy ghost go to his word if you're not hearing a lot of that then you're probably sitting at the wrong table and you probably are eating garbage and don't even realize it. Your mind's getting polluted, diluted, twisted. Even the word inclusion, inclusion even to the point of, to inclusion into the point of delusion. Diluted, polluted, trash, garbage. <clears throat> I'm going to end with this. I had a dream. Well, now I can't because of the new policies on YouTube. So anyhow, um, <clears throat> love you guys. And just, you know, watch what you eat. Maybe we need to go on a keto friendly diet, maybe a Jesus friendly diet. <clears throat> His word, the Bible, the Holy Ghost, the truth. Look at almost all my messages. They're all weeded in the same direction. And get it for yourself, guys. It's, it's time for his people to rise and shine. So if you're his voice, be his voice. If you're his feet, be his feet. If you're his knee, be his knee. Too many people are trying to be the head. Everybody wants, uh, I'm going to end with this. Everybody wants the King David moment. Five smooth stones. Man, look, at I just wiped out this giant that was threatening our land. I cut his head off, and I'm going to run through the town with the bloody head, and I'm going to shake it all, or make sure everybody sees the blood and gets the blood on them, and yay me. Nobody wants to be the servant. Bunch of guys, if it's a bunch of glory hounds, you're probably at the wrong table. You're probably eating garbage. Probably getting your mind polluted and diluted. And maybe you just need to step back. Am I supposed to, am I supposed to be here, God? Pray, you know. Man, you really need some direction here, God. What's going on? So quit eating garbage, guys. And, you know, what was that? I think it's in, it's in Revelation, too, I think, but about eating the scroll. Um, no man was worthy to open the scroll. It's in Revelations, but I forget where it is about eating the scroll. It's one of the prophets, I think. <clears throat> Sorry, but you, you get the gist of it. Um, eating his word, the bread of life, the body of Christ. Edify each other, sure. Uplift each other, sure. Help each other, sure. Pray for each other, sure. Where we're going should be like a hospital, you know, for, for the sick and for the, you know, sick at heart, too. <clears throat> Not just some kind of showboaty power trip <clears throat> event. God's not an event, guys. God's not happening. God's not at some certain specific location. In you, Jesus Christ, in you, the hope of glory. So, anyhow, um, but I'm saying all this too, guys. I don't feel like I am. I'm like, man, I gotta really, really just kind of guard my words. But I know when I start getting going in the Holy Ghost, it just flows out, and so. I'm a watchman, I can't change it, I gotta be obedient because you know what, at the end of the day, at the end when I draw my last breath, when it's over with, and when I, you know, there's preachers that have passed on, I'm gonna stand before God by my, by my own two feet, mine, not yours. I have to answer for what I've said, dead, done, portrayed, my life, what I did with what he told me to do, or not do. So I've just got to be obedient, guys. And so do you. So I don't know what that looks like. I'm not really, you know, I'm just 
probably a word of caution, maybe the wa probably the watchman in me, but don't eat garbage. Quit eating pig food. Or a meal that's prepared for somebody else. It may, you know, they may, it may be a good meal, it just may not be your meal. I don't know. You know, that's where the Holy Ghost comes in and lead, guide, direct you to all truths. <clears throat> it's where God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word, you know what? Man, dig. If you're not sure, dig. If you're not sure, ask for direction. Not from me, not from your favorite YouTube person, personality or TV evangelist or even somebody at your local assembly or whatever, you know, don't. That's good. Not saying not, not listen to, you know, what others are saying. Because it meant, you know, but bounce it off the Holy Ghost. Try the Spirit to see if it's the Spirit of the Lord. Is it really God? Put it all into the context, you know, you know. So anyhow, we love you guys. Uh talk to you soon. And if you need to get a hold of me, you can just email me at Jesus is alive in America at gmail.com. Um or look just Google Jesus is alive in America and you can find us. So anyhow, talk to you soon. Um kind of, you know. Let's get this diet right. Diet of God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. So, love you. See you soon.